Right, so in the last couple of videos I've uh, narrowed down the ideal axe weight is uh, about two and a half to three pounds, three and a half at most, for most wood. There's very little occasion when you'll need an axe much heavier and they're slightly lighter, um, like uh, bushcraft style axes. They're pretty good in six inch wood, but uh, after that they get really destroyed by the slightly heavier axes. So in all wood, up to about 12 inches, this size of axe is the best compromise. And also they're best to use for endurance. It doesn't tire you out too much. And especially in hot weather like this, you really don't want to be swinging a four pound axe. So these two axes are probably the best options on the market. The red one is a council tool, boys axe, and this one is a Oxenkopf Iltus. Now this one in particular, um, I was given by my girlfriend's father, and it's quite an old one. It used to be yellow, but now it's black, and that's not paint, that's patina, and lots of uh, pine resin and work. So. This axe has stood the test of time. It's uh, probably at least 10, 15, maybe even 20 years old. I'll need to ask him, but uh, this axe has held up brilliantly. The handle is new. I replaced it uh, just because the old one had uh, become loose and was slightly too short. It was about 60 centimeters. I think it was an older model they used to make. I think it's much better on a 70. And the ones available today are on a 70 as well. Really these axes are very similar in many ways, although the oxen cops are uh, a little bit wider. Yeah this one's about a centimetre wider, this is the Canada 800, it's an 11 centimetre edge and then the Canada 1 kilo has a 125 millimetre edge, so about 5 inches. And they also make a Europa with a 145 millimeter edge. Okay this log still has a couple of limbs on it, just stubs. So I'm going to do one each of each axe. You know, cuts through it nicely. You can do good limbing with those axes. I just find them a little bit too narrow on the blade. It just uh, requires that just that touch more accuracy. Now for the oxen cop. That limb's a little bit bigger but you know both very very effective axes for limbing. I'd say from my experience the Oxenkopf is just a little bit better at limbing. It's a little bit uh, thinner in the blade so it's a bit less resistance. Okay so what's the penetration on these axes like? So the oxen cop can see some chip baking up there, it's doing its job. Okay, that is four fingers, three and a half, but very I'd say four. It's it's well over three and a half. Cancel tool a bit sticky there. The cancel tool free. So I think that hollow behind the edge certainly makes this bite more than the cancel tool. The cancel tool's got a flat wedge shape basically and uh, a bit more resistance. Might chip better in some woods, but uh, generally I found this oxen cop to be a bit more free. So that's an interesting result. That's the first axe I've had that's uh, been able to cut in four.
Both axes are very, very good. Uh, personally, I prefer the Oxencop. Slightly larger edge, and uh, I think the handles have more potential if you're willing to thin them out. If you just want an axe that's already almost ready to go, you still need to sharpen the edge. Counter still is a bit better, but uh, really what it's going to come down to is whether you're in the States or Europe. If you're in Europe, the oxen cops are more available. If you're in the States, counter tools are available. As far as uh, I've experienced them, I find in green woods, the oxen cop is a bit better. When woods are dead and dry, so you're cutting firewood that, for like camping that you want to burn immediately, I think the council does a little bit better. In dead wood, the stickiness issue is not such a big deal, and I found it does penetrate a bit more. But when you put that's only when you put a very, very thin grind on it, and I'm not sure about the consistency of quality in their tempering process. I have seen these edges have a lot of problems, but maybe I've just got a, a bit of a fluke one that's perfect because. I've managed to get that down to 16 degrees with a tiny micro bevel. Really these uh, oxen cops have quite a pedigree um, for use in Canada by loggers and uh, they're well liked. So I'm pretty trustworthy of the steel on these. I mean some people complain they're too soft and roll a lot. Um, I've only had issues of rolling when I have a very very tiny secondary or micro bevel on mine but uh, a millimeter micro bevel for me seems to be enough on them. Overall, both are very good axes, great to learn on, and uh, very useful sizes for all kinds of work.